What is up guys, Zane from Playbook.gg, and in this video we're going to start breaking down some intermediate level defensive tips that you can use to get more stops in Madden 19. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the Playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys, so welcome back. Here in this video we're going to talk about the big nickel over G defense. This is a defense that is near and dear to my heart back in Madden 12 when I was not washed up. I ran the 425 defense, which is basically the, what we've got here. Four linemen, two linebackers, five defensive backs. That could be either a corner or a safety in your five defensive backs. Now, the thing about the big nickel over G is that this is a very popular defense this year for a number of reasons. Uh, one is obviously you have a lot of different coverages, cover six invert, cover three match, cover two, cover six regular cover four quarters, cover two Tampa two, cover three sky, cover one hole, uh, four lock palms, two contain, cover nine, you get the you get the picture. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about a simple four man rush that you guys can set up. This is a very popular community rush that a lot of players do use. And I find it to be extremely viable from the cover nine play. And a lot of reasons that people like cover nine is because what they all end up doing is they will take this slot corner, which is actually a safety, and they will just use or him in the middle of the field. Now, what a lot of players will do with this defense is they're just going to crash their defensive line up. And what this, is, what this is going to do is this is going to cause uh, basically a loop shed, uh, kind of a twist stunt between these two players right here. Now, we're going to go ahead and show this to you right here. All I'm doing is usering this player. And uh, when the ball is snapped, you should see a loop or a great edge rush. Now, that's the thing about loop slash edge rush is that you're going to get one or the other. Only one of the two players on the right side of the screen is going to get a great animation. If you get the speed rush animation, you'll take that every single day. It gets to the quarterback back very very quickly uh, if he does not get the speed animation your defensive tackle to the inside will actually loop all the way around him so in this example the right defensive end on the screen gets around and he's able to get to the quarterback pretty quickly but if he doesn't get that animation this allows our defensive tackle to loop in uh, untouched so what we're going to do is set up a depth chart here and kind of show you how this works so we go back to the big nickel over G, you're typically gonna want somebody that can get to the quarterback at this spot. So what I typically will do is I'll take my pass rusher and put them there. Uh, you can you kind of do whatever you want. So I'll put Everson Griffin there uh, and it doesn't really matter, Eric Wilson. So uh, you can call this out of any play. Again, I, I personally like cover nine, basically anything that's a too high defense in my opinion. So cover two, cover four, cover six, cover nine, those types of defenses do work very well. So we'll go ahead and go right back into it. We're going to call the exact same play on offense to kind of show you how to make this work. So uh, again, we're going to just face a line. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crash my defensive line outside and then I like to use this slot corner. This is a very popular tactic. Now, another thing a lot of players will do is pinch their linebackers. When you pinch your linebackers, this basically makes it so the interior offensive line, meaning your left guard, center and right guard, have to worry basically about five guys up the middle in between. And that's what allows us to get the speed rush slash loop around the end. So we'll go ahead and show you here. You see in this example, again, we're getting a nice little edge rush. You'll take that every single time. In fact, a speed rush angle does get to the quarterback more quickly than a loop from a D tackle. Although when you get a loop from a D tackle, it is pretty nice because you can see right here, that's a perfect example of the loop from the D tackle. It basically looks like we get two guys free right at the quarterback for a sack as Mitch Trubisky continues to break sacks. So we'll go ahead and show you with that loop exactly what we're talking about. So with this loop animation, you get the engage animation from the D end. He doesn't rush hard to the outside. And because he gets this hard inside rush, it causes a double team. And at this point, it looks like Bobby Massey at right tackle is going to peel off and block the looper. But really what happens is it just causes a weird collision in the game. There's no actual block. And you can see that Bobby Massey thinks, is, thinks that he's locked on to him. You see, he acts like he's blocking him right here. Kind of looks like he thinks he's blocking a ghost. But really what ends up happening is this DN comes in free. And I think that something that a lot of players do not tell you in the community when they're trying to get this looper free is that you kind of want to stand a little bit further back. Um, I like to stand at a depth of about seven or eight yards with my user. I think the closer you get, the, uh, the weirder the results are. But you stand a little bit further back, I tend to notice that you get this loop animation a lot more. You see it right there. They just get in free to the quarterback. So this is your simple four-man rush. Now, obviously, there are a lot of blitzes that players do like to run out of the big nickel over G that really add 
to this defensive formation. In fact, we're going to break down more on this channel. Also, guys, make sure you guys are checking out playbook.gg for advanced level gameplays and game plans that are going to help you uh, with winning more competitive games, taking your game to that next level. So we're going to go ahead and continue this big nickel over G defense tomorrow. Hope you guys will come back and we'll end up with a nice little three play mini scheme out of this great defensive formation. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.